I'll do my best! Hello, welcome to another, uh, box art breakdown? Is that what I called it? I think that's what I called it. Uh, where we're gonna look at box arts and video games, and we're gonna break down the graphic design of them, and talk about if they're good or not, or if I like them or not, or interesting things that I think they do, or anything. We'll just, we're just gonna talk about them. Um, if you don't know, I am a graphic designer. I went to school for it. I'm not a crazy professional, but I have worked in game box art design a bit, so I do know things about it, and I like to consider myself decently knowledgeable, and sometimes these video games from back in this day, uh, people who worked on the graphic design of the box art not, weren't necessarily the most, like, you know, uh, privy of this stuff, and it was a long time ago, so there's a lot to talk about. I have Ape Escape 3 open, so we're going to talk about it. I usually start with the front and do the back. I I was getting into the logos last time. I try not to get into the logos too much because that could be a whole topic in itself. That being said, Ape Escape 3's logo is very good, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we're, I have a bunch of PS2 ones for today, and um, last time I think I did GameCube, so... I have some cool PS2 ones or some interesting things. I think it'll be it'll be an interesting talk. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about Escape Three because I think this box art, the front art, is actually really cool, uh, and the P the art piece itself is neat. I like the fact that it has all of like the pro tag in little snippets all over the cover, but the monkeys are still the focus. It's just like nicely composed, like the render. Um, nothing's cut off. Nothing feels awkward. It feels very, very centered, which is really cool. You can see how the tower... I also have a handy pen. You can see how the tower is right in the center of the box, you know, just framing it very well. Everything is very well spaced. There's a very even amount of space between the logo, which is something that you... I mean, like, modern programs can do pretty easily, but, you know, something they had to keep in mind back then. Um... I just think that's pretty nice. There's there's a nice like framing angle with the way everything is like angled like that. It's a good looking box art, I won't lie. And I mean like the default monkey being front and center like that is pretty cool. It's it's pretty key to understanding this. It also lets you know that there are like themed monkeys with that guy, uh, which is cute. And it tells you the theming of the game, which is this kind of movie studio, TV studio theming that this game has. Ape Soup 3 is amazing, by the way, if you haven't played it. This game is unbelievably good. Uh, yeah, I like the cover art a lot. It's actually pretty simple, too. It is deceptively just a piece of promotional art with the logo on the front, but it's placed in a way that's so perfect for a box art, which is cool. Uh, sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes it feels like they just stuck the promotional art on the cover and called it a day, but this one feels more deliberate, which I like. Uh, I don't really notice anything else. You'll notice that, you know, logos and ESRB ratings are always going to be there. Uh, a smart company, a smart graphic designer keeps it in mind, obviously. Um, but yeah, uh, that's not, there's not much to say about the spine. It, it's actually interesting because it doesn't, it doesn't go across like a lot of times the spine will slightly like you know keep the thing between them but this one's just different it just kind of matches a similar color it actually is a sky you can kind of see indications of clouds like right there um it is actually a sky texture it's just like doesn't really matter i think this actually works well with this because it separates the two pieces of art if you're placing it out and if you're not it's not like you know they're connected anyway i like when they're connected but it doesn't need to be and the back art is actually like on a glance really good too um you have all the a bunch of different monkeys represented which i think is really smart um you know showing oh look at all the different themed monkeys we got we got like sombrero wolf mummy and stuff um some screenshots from the game which i think is cute uh, i don't really know what the going on with the border of the like thing here i think it's actually really trippy because it's like this and then inside there's another one which is kind of funny i think it's supposed to mimic this tv from the in-game but to me it doesn't really look like a tv like it might look like in-game because you know 
it's more represented, but this doesn't represent a TV to me. They could have easily made this more look like TV monitors. They might have tried that, and maybe it wasn't colorful enough, or it wasn't, it was a little too much. Like, you know, there's a lot of detail that goes into a TV screen. Um, I don't think it doesn't work, but I also just think it's weird. Also, the more I notice that the fact that this is in, there's a TV within the TV is really funny to me. <laughs> I don't know if even, they even realized that they were doing that, but either way. Also, it's kind of got this very mid-2000s, just add all of the blending effects in Photoshop to your shape, you know? You got bevel and emboss, you got a strop shadow, you got a highlight, you got an outer, like, an outer shadow thing going around it. It's like, it's everything. <laughs> but otherwise, it works. It's, it's a border, it's decently eye-catching, and I think the placement of image to text in this is really good, too, because... Sometimes there's too much text, but I think this game works well with this. Text is a tiny bit small up here. Especially this seems to have a lot of space around it, while the space between these does not. So it looks a little uneven. But you have your header, which is in this, you know, uh, pretty obvious header font, which looks pretty good. Um, and then the same font is used for the body, but it actually looks, it looks fine. Usually try to do something a little bit less like more subdued for the you know the text opposed to the header but it actually works um yeah i just think this could have been moved down a little bit and then maybe made like move this up move this down uh this needs to be this would be moved up like two sets like centimeters and then this would be moved down a little bit more just to leave a little bit of extra space there's like barely any space between those um but yeah otherwise it's fine it's pretty simple uh, I think the black text works well. I don't think it needed to be anything more than that. Um, maybe could have added like a slight white transparent glow that matches like the clouds in the background here. I'd have to like kind of see what that looked like, but you know, simple enough works well. It is also important to keep in mind with a lot of these box arts. A lot of these box arts did keep in mind the easiest way to use different languages sometimes. So this might have been the same exact one for the PAL region. So this might have had more text in the PAL region. Because there is a little, there's a pretty good amount of space like right here between this monkey. Maybe it took up less space. Maybe this is a, uh, just a really simple edit of the Japanese cover. I actually don't know. But either way, uh, works for what it is. Um, the monkeys are, probably could use a little bit of a drop shadow. You can see like with the monkeys outline here, it's almost gets lost a little bit. I think drop shadows work well in that circumstance where it's like you want to kind of add some depth between the monkey and the background um could have worked well if you added a drop shot of this guy and like this guy but then not on these guys because they're not in the foreground leaving less of a shadow you know common thing otherwise it's just the official art placed on a background um there's a shadow here i don't know who's shot i think that's supposed to be this guy's shadow so I did that with my mouse. This guy's shadow. Um, I don't know. Then you have the PlayStation.com thing. And the same font as the other one, which is fine. One thing I do like about PlayStation cover, uh, which is different from some other Nintendo ones, is the information at the bottom is able to just be overlaid over the like the actual cover art, at least with these games. All they have to do is dim the bottom here. Like just add like kind of a transparent and start dimming it so the white shows up brighter. And it actually looks really slick. I think that looks really, really nice. Looks a lot nicer than just having like a cut off like spot on the bottom just for the you know just for the information. But yeah, overall it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, pretty simple, but I think the the text obviously is just whatever. It's not anything super crazy. But the placement of everything else is really really good actually. Ape Escape Three is good. We like Ape Escape Three. Now we have Sly Cooper. So. This is different. This is way different. So let's, let's talk about this one. So I actually really do like the cover of Sly Cooper. I've, I think I said this in my one of my other videos. I think it's really impressive and daring in some ways for graphic design marketing um, to have your cover art not show the main character. I mean, this vaguely shows an idea of the main character, but this is not. It looks like an old comic book cover or something, which is totally fitting for what Sly Cooper is. But you really don't even get a good look of what this guy looks like on this cover or the back in this, right? Am I crazy? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Probably didn't help the game with sales, but I respect it as an artistic decision 
that this would this just looks a lot cooler because of it uh loco and stuff oh i hit my microphone my bad i like it i don't love it i think the logo text is a little awkward it's a little gaudy with all the little sheens all over the place i get what they're going for not crazy about it um there's a lot of there's a lot of effects going on on the Thievius Raccoonus thing, which I don't think there needs to be because this is like the thing that needs to be super glossy and shit, and this doesn't need to be. But it looks okay. Very early 2000s. I also the spotlight thing is cool, but the way it like just it's this big circle, but really only this area is being taken up by text. It leaves like this entire area just as white space. A little awkward to me. Um, it doesn't look good as a logo. It just look it looks okay as the front cover somewhat, but they could have added something here, like a little raccoon guy. <laughs> there you go. Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> but yeah, uh it's pretty good. I again, I just appreciate the fact that it doesn't have him on the front and it's pretty like artsy for that reason. Also, I noticed there's some stars in the top here. I feel like that could have been like more down here. Probably. Also, I, I don't know. You shouldn't actually hear that. I was gonna say. I think my Discord just made a noise, but I don't think you should hear that. Um. Yeah. Uh. Pretty cool though. I think it's it's decently cool cover. Uh. Logo problems aside, there's a slight glow on some of this, like right here, which is pretty cool. Uh. I like that. Logo again. It's just the same font, just written out for the spine. Just very basic color. They could have. I think. Oh no, this does bleed into the background, which is kind of cool, like the back art. Yeah, I probably could have used some stars, like the front though, to give it that nighttime look. Um, the back has a lot more going on, <laughs> for better or for worse, from first glance. I guess you do see a good shot of him here, but either way, um, still pretty like, pretty vague on who you're playing as, which I think is cool. Uh, okay, there's a new thief in town. This has an inner, an, God, an inner shadow, an outer shadow. It's got everything going on. This text it makes sense. It actually doesn't look that bad. Um, the one thing that's kind of bothering me is I, it's hard to tell off the top. Like so, what this is usually here is you have a header, you have your what I would call body text, and then you have your captions to your screenshots. If I stop circling these. It's kind of hard to tell which one's which because of how scattered everything is. This is technically the body text. And then this is like a little thing. But the body text is usually sort of connected to the header. But the header is so separated here. It's kind of spaced weird. I think it would have been better if this, cur this text curved around this bubble and was closer to it as a result. And by the way some graphic design people might be like, well, this is so close to the edge here. That's actually probably just the scan. I doubt it's actually that close to the edge on the actual cover. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Also, really just nitpick thing. I really like how this is oriented with the text where it's like kind of, you know, I don't know what to call that, where it's like offset a little bit. These are just left aligned. I don't know. Could have been centered at least, I think. Uh, probably would have made it look a little bit cleaner. Um, looks a little strange. Especially this. I feel like this one definitely needed to be uh, centered and not left aligned. This makes sense to be left aligned. But that one, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and again, like this is like this off yellow. So it almost just looks like it's this different caption. And again, not different. They're all the same font. So it gets confusing. Um, I don't like that. The text is definitely not this back strong suit, which is unfortunate. Uh, this could have used maybe like comic book effect, you know, like a speech bubble, like, you know, kind of thing or something. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Again, you'd have to kind of do it to know if it works. So most of the time, I'm just kind of shooting shit off the top of my head. I do kind of like these spotlight. They're supposed to be like spotlights, you know, uh, screenshots of the, uh, the cover or the, the, the screenshots of the game. Um, which is kind of cool. I think it could have been done a little bit better, though. Because, like, if you line these up, like, these ones make sense. This one doesn't really make any sense. I don't know where that one's coming from. This one makes sense. And then, maybe that one makes sense. I don't know. 
it looks like it was an idea that was good on paper, but then executed. They needed more screenshots. They didn't know where to make the lights come from without it looking weird. So they had to make exceptions. Common thing that can happen is your ideas sound better in your head than they actually are. I do like the bottom here where it fades into the, again, into the uh, text of the bottom here, which is pretty slick. Um, oops. And then, uh, I don't know why this DVD thing is right here. Should that be down more? I think that should be down more. It's very strange right there. I get that's like a thing. It's like, oh, it's a DVD ROM. It needs to be indicated that it's a DVD ROM, but it's very strangely just, just in the void here. I don't know if that could have been legally moved because sometimes they need to be in specific spots. So maybe they were, they had to put it there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything to say about the screenshots themselves. They look fine. Just text stuff. Uh, probably done really fast is my guess just not really considered like certain things aren't really considered that makes sense it's also just like kind of haphazardly rotated the text it's like this one's kind of rotated this one's kind of rotated a little bit more kind of rotated a little bit more you know it's like it's not even it's th these are all rotated to like the same direction too which wait are they uh no 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 i'm wrong i'm wrong now, they're not all the road to the same direction, but they're all kind of like similar. I don't know. Awkward. It just It's just kind of all awkward because of that. Not my favorite. Uh, six out of ten. Five out of, maybe five out of ten. All right, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts' cover art goes fucking hard. <laughs> really good cover art, by the way. Um, I think it's really cool that they use the 2D art. Namora's art is iconic for this game, and it only is as iconic as it is because they chose to make the cover art. This, you know, his art. That's cool. That's cool. I think the composition of the art is beautiful. I think that need. It's almost like a fucking Renaissance painting. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be said anything more. It's really good. Uh, again, it might be a legal thing, but I wouldn't move this over here if I was making that decision. Uh, I think it looks a little weird. I th maybe they weren't trying to block this thing. I don't even know what that is, though. But whatever. Uh, really cool. Uh, logo placement, awesome. I am a huge, huge, huge advocate for uneven logo placement, if possible, as long as it looks good. And this is, you know, more to the you know center to the left, which I think is cool. It wouldn't work in the middle because it would cut off Sora. So it had to be there because they wanted... It was more important to have this heart be the centerpiece rather than just have the logo in the center, which is smart because the logo is complementing the game, the box art, not the other way around in my opinion. So that's cool. Um, spine's fine. Disney and Square Enix right in the cover art. With the Keyblade, you know, pretty cool. Again, not, it's one of those ones that does not continue. Like it could have maybe had like clouds that go over here, but the piece of art probably wasn't big enough to do that, so they just kind of made a vague, like, slightly thing. Again, could he use some stars? I don't know if they're... Again, could he, could he use some little specs, you know? Just saying, maybe. <laughs> uh, back cover, though, is pretty cool. This is so iconic. I, I remember looking at this back cover. My, friend would, my brother's friend would bring this over, and I used to be just so fascinated by this game. And I would look at this back cover, and it was so... It's so whimsical. It really is. It does such a good job. And it's very well made. It's very organized. It's just screenshots, text, screenshots, text, screenshots, text. And it's just, it's very well organized. It's all right leaning, which I really like. Very organized. Like, I keep saying that. Uh, and then the left side is just Sh Sora's funny little portrait shot. Look at him here. <laughs> funny little portrait shot. Uh, looks great it looks so good it's actually so fucking striking it really is cool um very subtle for a game that is not <laughs> in a lot of ways it's very serene and like whimsical which i think is a attribute of kingdom hearts one that is exclusive to kingdom hearts one that i think the rest of the games don't have is there is this really nice whimsy that this game has that is lost in the sequels. And I'm glad the cover art evokes it, because that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, team up with Disney heroes and you, as you battle evil. <laughs> yeah, it's a simple game. 
but it's really nice and again uh the way it fades between the art just makes it look very very serene very cool i kind of do really like the green tint everything has in the back too could have easily been the same tint as this blue but i think the green kind of adds a little slightly slightly different aesthetic to the back art which kind of puts it to like like i don't know it, it really comes together really well because of it i think it would be too like too one one note if it wasn't if they just changed this tint to match this tint which they could have easily done uh it wouldn't look as good in my opinion uh honestly i almost want to do it just to see what it looked like uh but nah i don't want to i don't feel like it actually you know what i've been talking about it let's try it let's try this this will be fun i mean i'm in clip studio anyway i can just quickly do this so ignore the screenshots in this scenario because um Actually, can I can I undo the screenshots? Here, let me. How do I do this? Let's see. Undo the screenshots. Yeah. Okay. Unselect the screenshots. There's cloud on the back too. Damn. When I do that. Oops. And now we're gonna transform this. We're gonna change the hue a little bit. And we're gonna make it more blue. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, it doesn't like it. Can I, can I change the tint actually? Let me see. This might not work. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Let's see. So that's closer to matching, you know. Let's see. Now it's too red. That's closer to matching. You see what I mean. It looks a little bit more like, you know, I think that looks cooler. Am I crazy? Like if this was, it would look a little too one note to me. I feel like when it's this greenish, it kind of separates the front and back. That was a lot of work for that explanation, but whatever. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's cooler. Anyway, Marvel's vs. Capcom 2 time. <laughs> um, so this is interesting. Oh man, this back is something. <laughs> Let's talk about the front though. Uh, really simple front, which I think is cool. Uh, just the characters facing off. Logo smack dab in the middle, which is fine. It fits well. Uh, logo's cool as hell for this game, just saying. Uh, really cool. Just Zangief, you know, the, the 2D art, which I'm a sucker for. Very striking blue background. Very, like, weirdly iconic for some reason. Um... Just very simple. It's just like, you know why you're here. You know what game this is. <laughs> um, and then the spine is... Oops. Hey, let me uh, get the thingy back. Yeah. The spine is just Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Pretty simple. There's a little bit of a grid effect back here. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know. Kind of, there's a lot of aesthetics of grids in this game, so it could be mimicking that. Uh, stage select... Or the character select is like a big grid, so works well it's actually kind of weird it has this like you can see how the grid is actually like coming out of that circle area there interesting I like how it fades in the middle so it's a little bit more blue in the middle it looks nice spine looks nice uh back though the back though <laughs> so first of all that is so unbelievably ugly <laughs> that header is so huge it is every Stupid Photoshop effect under the sun. We have... Oh, it looks terrible, too. I really... No, that's not the... That wouldn't be the scan. What the hell? It's got, like, blue residue. I don't own this game. I would literally go grab this game if I owned it IRL, but I don't. And it might not be... It might be the scan or something. Some artifacting. If not, this is just a bad cut job of some... I don't even know. Where would that have come from? Where they would have to use the, like magic wand tool to try to get rid of a background like what i wonder if we can figure that out like where did this come from 
whatever. So it's got like every effect under the sun. We got a Bevelin and Boss, a Sheen, a, probably a Drop Shadow. I was thought it had a glow, but it looks like it's the residue. It's just so gaudy. It's so freaking gaudy. And then you have this bright yellow text, just this unfiltered, italicized, bright yellow text that's just so in your face. And I get like somewhat, maybe the game would have fit that. If this was literally yellow, it would look better. But I think the red and the yellow and the blue is just so many bright colors that just that ah, just does not look good because and you might be arguing you might be thinking well it's more just capcom it's kind of like that i think the rest of it isn't though the background is very subdued and like dvd menu esque you know like that kind of like weird ambient background with a very slight checkerboard kind of thing going on like a very very early 2000s but it's very cool and subtle um well it's terrible i'll get into that in a second <laughs> um I think it clashes really bad, really, really bad. Um, I like the kind of the training training room grid thing going on, but it just looks weird. It also gets cut off like awkwardly here. All of them have been pretty seamless with their cutoff. Again, if it's supposed to look like a boxed in area, why does it get cut off like that? Wouldn't it be better if it was like, you know, more straight on like that? Yeah, okay, whatever. And then these things are just so ugly they're, they're like you can tell there's circles here they're supposed to be like little tags but the 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 font is stretched it's italicized it's small compared to everything else this one isn't even centered in this box they look just so bad they look so bad there's so much space in between them there's so much space in between these it's like awkward to read and the screenshots are fine, but what the hell is that border around it? It's just like, it's like a border, but they just kind of like clipping, clipping masked some sort of like effect on it. Some kind of like gradient effect. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Like, I really don't even know what they're trying to go for with that. It's very awkward. Very, very, very awkward. Um... And the screenshots aren't... I thought they were stretched for a second. I was like, oh my god, that would be bad. Yeah, that's a mess. That's an ugly back cover. That's an example of one that just is no semblance of any kind of, like, design language. It is just mess. Do whatever. Doesn't matter. Whatever needs to get done, just do it. Yeah, nah. Nah, doesn't work. Sorry, Marvel's Capcom 2. You're a cool game. Uh, don't like your cover. Sorry. <laughs> Let's keep the uh, Street Fighter. So this is a really early PS2 game. Really, this must be a super early PS2 game. It seems like there is a lack of consistency in the placement of things here, which is interesting. But the cover is pretty cool, actually. Um, it is just reused model, zoomed in, motion blur motion lines with the logo at the top decently striking i think they could have used a little bit of touch up like the model's not the best looking thing like it's a little, it's a little polygon thing going on there. <laughs> could have used a little touch up i don't really even know what this might be a i don't know if that's a like a scanning effect or something but this like white here is kind of awkward i don't even know what that's supposed to be it almost looks like it was like this area was like you know uh, what do you call it? Magic wand tooled out or something, but either way, logo's cool. Uh, not really a lot to say about that. I really weird how small the ESRB rating is. Again, I don't think this was this might have been before there was like a standard set, so spine's boring. It's weird because again, maybe they thought there was a black spine standard. Would have been cool if there wasn't this big gap in the middle of this art, because the art completely goes between the front and the back, but then you have this big black bar between them. So the back ends up looking just like nothing when you like, it's like, what, what is that? What is that? What is that? It's like, it's a, it's a tough thing to pull with back. The back has to work on its own anyway, if you're going to do a full shot, because you're not going to really open it up and look at the whole thing. Usually uh, you might do that with like a manual or like a record, but you're not going to do that with a video game like this. So the back looks like nothing. I don't even like, it's like, there's some yellow, there's some random shapes and shit in the back. Like what? Who cares? Um, 
And it's ugly. It's ugly. Hell yeah. It's ugly. Um, they do this thing where everything is touching. It's like in a grid format kind of thing, which is fine. I don't mind that too much. The screenshots are just very, very un... There's no... There's no border or anything. There could have easily been kind of a cool looking border. Um, the font and everything is very, very bland. So this is technically the header. This is the inner tag, like the body text. This is more body text. And these are, you know, points, like, you know, actual like little advertising points. I don't really get that because this seems like it's just more body could have been more body points or like or more like you know advertising points of what's in the game it, it's also the the body text usually isn't bigger than the header text which is a little awkward um it's all italicized and this is the same font as the header just smaller it's just, it's just really awkward. It doesn't work. There's no cohesion. It's just like, again, another haphazardly just thrown together thing. Uh, this gets lost because they didn't bother making sure the text is working well with the background because this gets darker, so the black will get more lost as it goes down. So they probably should have accounted for that. They should have, I don't know, done something. I don't know. Made this white or made this... it probably fade into dark down and then make it white instead of black but again maybe the standards were different on early playstation 2 games i have no idea uh it's a weird one it's a weird one don't like it think it's ugly it's pretty boring and ugly which is not a good combination at least street at least marvel's capcom 2 was owning its ugliness in a way this is not anyway that's enough fighting games we're doing thrillville yeah i remember this game I don't know why I chose this one, but it's it's interesting. It's decently iconic. I think the cover art is actually really cool. And I like it because it's very specifically made for the box art. This render has the logo baked into the render. It's literally, you know, this is made to be the cover art, which is cool. I think that's, I'll say a lost art, but sometimes uh, games just use existing renders, like the Street Fighter one we just saw. Um, it just, it looks cool, and it seems a little bit more premium when it's, like, it's its own thing. Um, I think it's weird that LucasArts gets its own, like, section down here, like, sectioned off for it, but then the developer logo doesn't. It's just in there. I think the developer logo probably should have been over here, <laughs> personally, because it looks kind of awkward that it's just, like, in the front of this. I think making sure that this doesn't get cut off would be important because it's like the front end it kind of if you're if your eye was like trailing this you stop at the logo which maybe that was their maybe that's what they wanted but it's awkward because you know it just doesn't complete the uh visual cycle it just stops you at a logo it looks awkward um overall it's just cool i could analyze like how the art looks or how it you know i like the angle of it i think this is a really cool angle to uh, to invoke, you know, going from the back to the front like that. Very, very perfect for what the game is. Uh, like, you know, roller coaster tycoon esque game works really well. Um, the angles, it's like a Dutch angle where everything's kind of to the side or to the tilted like that. Pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. I like it. Very iconic. Very eye eye catching. I definitely rented this game as a kid because it looked cool which is like what they want. The spine is also pretty cool. I don't really know what the intent is with it. You can tell they have this little like, you know, indent here for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it, um, besides needing to separate this part to be black. Um, it looks fine. I think curved text like this on a spine, it's just, it's just too cluttered. This is like one of those circumstances where it's like, if they could, I would have just just evenly spaced out the text like just don't even curve it like i know it's part of the logo but i don't know if they could make an exception you do it there but whatever not much else to say about the spine it's kind of got a 
a gradient to it, so it kind of looks like it's like 3D, sort of like popping out. Uh, probably looks pretty good on the actual spine of the case because it like fits, you know, because the, there is actually a curve on the PS2 spine. So, and then we have the back cover, which I feel like we saw a game that reminded me of this in the GameCube video. But overall, I do like it. Definitely more than the last ones. So, to, iter to reiterate, header, body text, and then the points are here. And then we got a little advertisement bubble here, which uh, I don't know. I don't know the names of these. You see, I'm like just saying this shit. Like, this is how I think of it, but this they could have actual names. So, this is interesting. There's something that I, I do notice. This is pretty small, like, just in general. That... Should, probably should be bigger because it's advertising. It's like pretty small text. I'm looking at this at a screen. This is gonna be a box art. Uh, odds are you want something to pop out at you. The point of something like that would be to pop out at you. So it's interesting that it's so small. Um, I think it's probably because they didn't want to cut off the screenshot because this is the big main screenshot of like, you can make crazy roller coasters, um, which is cool, but I think they could have easily moved this down a tiny bit, made it a bit bigger, and it probably would have looked better in my eyes. There could be many reasons for them doing that, though. But either way, I do really like the way they did these. Um, it's very cool. Also, I want to say, it's interesting because sometimes they internally hire people to make box arts like this. Like they don't have like they don't hire like a contract graphic designer. Um, and I feel like games like this. And compared to games like Street Fighter, you know, or whatever, they don't need to pay much attention to the graphic design, especially considering it's just a Japanese, you know, it's a translation. So this is probably done like those yeah, those Street Fighter games are probably done by the internal uh, localization team or the, you know, NOA or I guess it's Nintendo, whatever, NA branch of Capcom. This was done by LucasArts. And LucasArts has to incorporate graphic design into their games. So if somebody was working on the graphic design of the game Thrillville, I'm sure they would have a good eye for box art graphic design too. It's a different beast, but like this almost feels like video game graphic design in a way. But it's good. It's really good. Uh, and I think it works for the box art, surprisingly. Um, which is cool. It's like you can kind of see that. Uh, so this has a wicked, 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 wicked glow on it. That thing, that's like just so, so opaque, which is fine. I don't think it would look good without it because it'd be so, so busy because you have like all the screenshots, like all the screenshots would be lining up here. So it'd be just a mess of screenshots in the middle. So you really do need to mask that. The thing I think they should have done is there is this really bright yellow glow here, but it like fades into this just gray smoke you know like if that was yellow it ha if this had the same yellow glow these lines had it would look a lot more seamless which i think would be much better uh the text is cool i like how it's curved like that it looks nice fits the aesthetic of everything and everything's actually curved like that even this uh this thing um which is cool looks really nice uh everything else just just works well it's just a pretty good one uh i'm a sucker for transparent like white little boxes like little insert boxes like that so i do think those look really nice they're all pretty consistent in terms of size and everything sometimes people make exceptions for these because you know it's easy to do but consistency is key with this stuff so even when there's less in the box it's still the same font size the same letting the same kerning they don't make exceptions because there's less you know i don't like it, it can work sometimes. It could have easily actually worked with this one because it's so separated from these that you probably wouldn't even notice. But yeah, otherwise it looks pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not that that's even a problem. I like the fact that it's doing that, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And the way it fades into the thing, I just wanna say it's cool. Like PlayStation 2 looking slick, PS2 boxes looking slick. All right, we got two more. So this is the second to last one. We got Psychonauts. I like this one a lot. I was actually looking at this in my collection, and I was like, oh, this one goes hard. <laughs> First of all, box art's amazing. Just, whoa, so good. Uh, the way they did this is so cool, because the logo looks great. Uh, the subtitle to the logo up the top, 
which I just circled horribly, looks really nice. And I like the kind of cartoony text kind of going up and like, you know, zigzagging around a little bit. Um, fits really well with the aesthetics of the game, matches the aesthetics of the background art. And the background art is so cool because the logo is this brain here with the text. And they made Raz standing on the logo technically, which is pretty freaking cool. And this is like literally falling like golden ratio shit, like with the fucking swirl here. It just looks so good. You got all the main characters in the front and this gorgeous art style. It's all very toned very well with the game's aesthetics and with the game's like, you know, sort of like color palette. Just mwah, it's so good, so good. How did this game not sell well? How could you not go to a, a rental store and see this and not go like, holy moly, I need this game. <laughs> How did I not do that in 2005? Probably didn't see it. But yeah, back cover does the cool thing I like where it incorporates itself into the, or spine incorporates itself into the back cover. Logo looks good in the spine. Everything's pretty good there. I really do like the tonal shift where it's still a green tint, but it's much darker on the back. It helps it se separate a little bit, looks good. This is the header. The header looks fucking awesome because it's a completely custom font, I think. I think it's completely hand-drawn custom font. Really cool. You do not see that often, especially with games that are probably going to be in other languages. Uh, really cool. Um, oops. I love, love this sequence of shapes for the screenshots. Uh, they incorporate really good, like these are some of the levels you're gonna go to. So it's like you're going in the brains of these persons. It explains the the game really well in the box art. Can Have we said that about any of the others? Like this does a really good do job contextualizing the game's mechanics and its story and its back art. That is cool. <laughs> I feel like there aren't many games. You don't have to read this and you can kind of understand. This guy is an adventurer. He's got the goggles. He's an explorer. And these are like mind brain, like, you know, little like mind bubbles for different characters. Put those pieces together and assume that this guy's traveling through these, these people's like thoughts, right? <laughs> I think that's really cool. Text is basic. I just heard something out of those. Uh, ba <laughs> I'm just hearing something in the background. Basic, but strategically basic, where it doesn't distract. Uh, I think maybe, just maybe, if I had one critique, this might be a little bit less bold, this text. Um, I get what they're doing. This is like your little like starter, like the brains. Uh, there were brains everywhere. Um, maybe a little bit thinner. Uh, I think maybe this could have been bold and this could have been regular or medium. Um, Still would have looked good, I think. Maybe a little bit less in your face. Uh, kind of you squint your eyes, you kind of get lost in it. It's fine, but you know, uh, one critique. Otherwise, looks good. The color choice is really good. Um, yeah, I just really like it. It is perfectly dark enough to where the white, you know, legal information is fine, you know, works well. Uh, logo here looks good everything's placed all the legal information is placed really well within the confines of the art and everything nothing gets in the way it's using like all the space to its like maximum you know like uh ability it's perfect <laughs> this is probably my favorite one yet this is really good um i really don't know what i would do additional wise to make this better i don't know if i would maybe add like green effects around you know because there is the there is like all those things that you collect in the game those like fragments or whatever uh might be looking a little messy if, if you did that if you added like you know just pretend those are uh the fragments that you collect throughout the game if you added those around eh, might look a little messy that way uh but you know who knows? Otherwise, it's really good. I really like it. Uh, I'm a big fan. This is a pretty big inspiration for graphic design in box art things. This is a pretty good example of one that does it really well. Okay, so next one. I guess we're ending on two good notes. I think the next one is really good too, but for good, different reasons. This is Gran Turismo 4, another game that I actually grew up with. Um, this game is really cool, by the way. And this is like the opposite 
of Psychonauts, but effective for similar reasons, which is cool. So, first of all, really, I mean, it's, it's very slick. Come on. I mean, like, I'm not, like, you know, it's maybe pretentiously slick in a way. It is so, so simple and, like, uh, minimalist in the best way possible. This game is about luxury vehicles in a lot of ways. And I think it's a driving simulator. It's like, it's very, it's very high class, very expensive in terms of what you're doing in the game, which is what they're trying to evoke. You know, they're trying to invoke the same thing an expensive car company would. Uh, the logo is really cool. It just looks so nice. Um, I love the way the spine looks, but I'll get that in a second. Um, I love that this is just formatted really well. I'm a big sucker. If they can make it work, white background, just really bright white is effective. And this is really effective because the car is also white, but due to a car being in reality and the background being just this opaque blank white, it really pops. The black accents of a car really pop. The fact that the car is like opening up and showing it's like robotic mecha looking inside is really cool um pretty identifiably immediately what it is but it's very eye-catching because of it it's very very bold which is cool and that's what you want out of a video game you're trying to advertise at a store <laughs> it leaves a lasting impression i always remember this cover art if you ever told me because it was like holy moly this is really slick looking compared to other games so then the, the spine is also just pure white uh with I think is really cool instead of having the logo in the front they have just like the colors of the logo which is pretty neat um logo is just nice in general it's very 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 car graphic design in a way very 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 minimalist and slick but yeah this was before the minimalist thing was as popular as it was I think like as like you know as common this was like 2008 or something or 2007 so I mean, this is, this is pretty early for that stuff. Wait, this is 2007? 2004. Oh, it's even earlier. Oh, this came in 2000. I think I got this in 2007. So the back is just the pedals and brakes, I think. Uh, I don't know, pedal or brake, I don't know. But I really like how it fades into white here. Just just bleeds into the background in a very, very, very elegant way. I think it's cool. I think very, very elegant choice of fonts where it's just two fonts where you get the header and then you don't even have body text. You just have the combination of body text. All the body text needs to be is just a list of shit this game has. And it's in this nice serif font, which you don't see often with video games. Pretty classy compared to a lot of the normal stuff. Uh, the drive of your life registered. <laughs> Um, it's pretty cool though. It's just, it's really slick. And like Psychonauts, Psychonauts is so over the top, but it's effective. It uses everything to its effect. This uses everything to its effect, but in the opposite way. It's using negative space. It's using minimal text, minimal sizes, uh, really, really effectively. But again, it's like using minimal text and everything, but this is really big on the frame. Like that is a big like iconic thing that you're in your head it's like oh those are pedals it's just not that big a deal but it's it's very like it's a it's a mood and it's nice it's it done really well it is really done well uh feels like feels a little higher class than some video game ones i mean again you look at this it looks like time was put into this like there is there was thought and effort that was put into the way this is composed what it's trying to evoke what it's trying to like, the feeling you're supposed to get when you look at this, it's a piece of art in a way, uh, like anything else. But like, <laughs> like, I don't know if that was really thought about with this one, right? Like you look at this and you're like, this was more thought as a cover to make the words re like, you know, readable, <laughs> which does its job, I guess, but it doesn't, it just doesn't feel as thought out which is it's a totally different comparison of type to game but that's what you're looking for which i think is cool um yeah uh that's pretty much it though that was the last one i had ps2 is a good example of a lot of different types of games uh, a lot of different types of games i feel like with gamecube we saw a lot of nintendo's games which is cool but i think the ps2 gives you a broader range so that's pretty fun i might do wii games next uh but if you have a suggestion 
uh, let me know. I might... If I can I continue doing these, I might do one where I take suggestions from people and I do one that's all the suggestions. So feel free to suggest a box art in the comments and I will try to compile them and do a like subscribers suggestion one. And I haven't getting comments that people really like these, uh, which is cool. It's probably uh, it's really good practice for me because, you know, I do this all the time. So it's nice to get to understand things. I don't really look at these things as intently as I probably should. Uh, so it's nice to just like study every once in a while. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. hope it was a good listening experience. Uh, hope you took something from this maybe. Uh, maybe not. I'm not the most professional person at this, but hopefully it made good background noise. So until next time, goodbye.